What's up guys and welcome back to Software Auto Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Warzone 3, Call of Duty Warzone 2 or Warzone or whatever it's fucking called right now at this very moment. The developers don't even know what to fuck to call their fucking game. Anyways, a lot of people are playing this game through either Steam like this or they're playing it through Battle.net like this. Now, in general, people are running into the problem where they are getting black screen errors, a DirectX error, or just errors in general. You might press the Windows key and your game will just crash, or you might Alt-Tab and your game will crash, or while mid-game you are playing and you want your KD to run up, but it's running down because your game keeps crashing for no fucking reason. Now, the reason why I am upset is because just in general, my game is also doing it now, but I found a fix for it. I found a fix for the Battle.net version and also the Steam version. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it took a lot of time and dedication to find these fucking fixes and how to fix it for people out there that's running into this problem because 95% of the gaming community that's playing Call of Duty either on Battle.net or on Steam that's playing Warzone or Modern Warfare 3 or Modern Warfare 2 is running into the same problem. Now, please, for the love of fuck, ladies and gentlemen, smash the motherfucking like button if this worked for you. Leave a comment down below. Share this with your friends if you know friends that's also running into the same problem. Just share this video, and I hope that this can help you guys out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into this video. Let me show you how to fix these issues. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before I jump straight into this video, if none of these methods work that I'm about to show you right now through the Battle.net version and the Steam version and your game still crashes and stuff like that, you can email me right here and then I can basically help you myself if you would like my own personal help. I do charge a service fee because it does take time and effort to do these things and I can just add you to my Discord. Like I said before, I do charge a service fee because it actually takes time and effort to do it and being on discord with you on a call or in my discord channel and helping you out to fix the game now i'll make sure that your game is running perfectly fine your windows is optimized and it's all included in my service so bear in mind that is something if you are in need you could just email me right here and we should be good to go all right let's jump straight into this video all right, ladies and gentlemen, so the first thing I highly recommend you go ahead and do is if you are a Battle.net user, we're going to go over the Battle.net version first, is you're going to open up Battle.net like this. You're going to go to this little gear icon over here that says options and you're going to click on it and you're going to go to scan and repair. Now, this is something that a lot of people are debating about. And if you've done this already and your game still does not want to work and you clicked on scan and repair, then all you're going to need to do, just make sure if you didn't click on this yet, please click on it. Because you're going to have to do these steps individually and you're going to have to follow my guidelines from the start to the end and you'll be good to go when it comes to Battle.net and when it comes to Steam. But like I said, we're going to go over the Battle.net first. So scan and repair your game files. Make sure it scans all the way through and make sure that you don't have any corrupt files in the game. Then once it's done, you're going to click on check for updates and it will check for updates and see if everything's up to date and it will say up to date. Now, if that does not work and your game still crashes, this is the next step you're going to need to do. You're going to click on the options gear icon like this and you're going to go to show in Explorer. Now, you're going to open this up to where your game is installed. This is where your game is installed. You're going to come inside here and you're going to look for Call of Duty. So you can just press C and here's COD. You just right click on it, go to properties and you go to compatibility mode. Now, there's a few ways of fixing this. This might help or the other solution that I'm about to show you might help. So you're going to go to disable full screen optimization and run this program in administrator and then say apply to this, right? Just like this. And then go to change high DPI settings. Click on this. Click on this one over here, program DPI, and then high DPI scaling override on application. Say OK, say apply. And then if you want to and you have multiple users on your desktop machine or your laptop or whatever the case might be, make sure you change it in here because as you can see, it's not been changed. You're going to have to do the exact same thing over here and then say apply. Come over here, do this, do that, application, OK, apply, OK, and then OK. Then you can close out of this and then run your game. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're still running into the same problem, your game's crashing, you're getting black screen errors or whatever the case might be, direct sex errors, whatever the case might be, this is the next step you're going to need to do. You're going to come back into this folder. It's very easy to do. You just open this up, go to options, go to show and explorer, and it will open up like this. You go in here, open this up and then press C for card. Just press it a few times until you get to this again. Right click on it, go to properties, come to compatibility mode. Now you're going to need to take these away for the next step to apply and for it to work. You're going to come in here and make sure that these are selected. As you can see, you just selected them 
And if it still doesn't work, this is what you're going to need to do. You're going to come inside here, disable them, come inside here, disable them as well. Say OK, say apply, say OK. Now they're all disabled. Then you say OK, and then you close out of this. Then you're going to need to do this. Options, go to show an explorer. Here's your Call of Duty. It will say where your Call of Duty is installed. As you can see, mine says Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. You're going to go one back, one back like this. And as you can see, it says Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Now you're going to rename this. So just press the forward key on your keyboard, space bar, and you can say, I don't know, Warzone 3, just like that. Call it whatever you like, whatever you like to call it, just call it any other thing by renaming the folder, all right? You're going to close out of this, and then you're going to see it's going to say install or locate the game. Now, if yours still says play, please go ahead and click here and exit out of this and then relaunch your Battle.net. Then it's going to say install or locate the game. Now, you're not going to say install. You're going to click on locate the game. Go to the drive where your game is installed. Mine is over here. I'm going to click on it. And then as you can see, there's the folder. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it says Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, and Warzone. Yours might say something else. Don't worry about it. You just rename that folder. Just make sure that the folder you renamed, that's what you're going to click on. Do not double-click on this folder. I repeat, do not double-click and then start selecting. Just go one back, select the folder itself. Once like this, say select folder. It's going to do this over here. It will say initializing, waiting, updating, and then it will say play. Now, once you click play, ladies and gentlemen, this will work. For Battle.net users, this will work 100%. Ladies and gentlemen, trust me on this. For Battle.net users, this works. And if it did work, smash the motherfucking like button. Leave a comment down below saying that this actually worked for Battle.net. And if you would like to do so, leave a thanks on my YouTube. There's a thanks button on my YouTube. If you've been struggling this for a long time, long period, and no one got the fix for you, and I just fixed your game for you, just support my YouTube channel by subscribing, leaving a like, leaving a comment, or hit a super thanks or a thanks button. It means a lot to my YouTube channel. It really does. All right, let's jump straight through the Steam version. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so a lot of people do play this game through Steam as well, and I know that for a fact, so this is how you're going to do this. Now, it does not work the same as Battle.net. You're going to right-click on the game, and you're going to go to Properties, and you're going to come inside here. You're going to go into Installed Files, and then you're going to click on verify integrity of game files you're going to click on it and then it will verify your game files it will see if there's any corrupt files in general for call of duty if there is it will start downloading i don't know like 100 megs to 200 megs it could even download like 500 megs to a gig because of files that's corrupted and then it's going to replace it for you now, if it doesn't do that and it tells you that some files are missing, now mine tells me there's 31 files missing and needs to be replaced and it keeps doing it over and over and over and it keeps doing it. It's like a constant fucking loop and it's irritating as fuck and I can't get, get my game to run. So this is what you're going to need to do. Leave this alone and fuck this option. Tell this option to go fuck itself. You're going to go to browse over here and then you're just going to click over here and then this is where your game is installed. Now, as you can see, it says Steam install Install, Steam Apps, Common, and then Call of Duty HQ. You're going to click on Common. Here's Call of Duty HQ. You're going to make a brand new folder like this and then call it Call of Duty uh, HQ and then just say Warzone 3. Just do that and then that's it. Now, what you're going to need to do is you're going to come inside this folder that's Call of Duty HQ, click on anything, press Ctrl and A to highlight everything, right click on it, say Cut go one back, go to the new folder you just created and paste this inside here. Now it will do this and it will paste everything inside here for you. It might take a little while, depends on if you have an SSD, a hard drive, an M.2 or whatever the case might be. Just make sure that you wait till this finishes. Now, once it's finished, you're going to go one back and you're going to delete this one over here because it is currently empty, right? So Call of Duty HQ is empty. You're going to delete it. And now you have this one of here, and this is where you're going to go put your Call of Duty, all right? You're going to close out of this, close out of this, right-click on your game, go to Manage, go to Uninstall, and go to Uninstall. Now, you basically just uninstalled nothing. You didn't uninstall anything because you moved the game to a different folder. Steam thinks you uninstalled it, but you didn't. So now you're going to click on Install. Make sure it's on the same drive where your game is installed. Click Install. And then it's going to start doing this. It's going to say start download like this. And then it will do something like this, reserving 
space and it will just in general do its necessary things that it needs to do for steam now once it starts downloading and i'll just show you if i go downloads it's going to start downloading like that you're going to do this you're going to pause it right you're going to pause it then you are going to uninstall it once more and say uninstall now where your game is installed for steam right mine is installed over here so steam install then you go to steam apps so obviously where your steam is installed go to steam apps go to common and then now you have a brand new call of duty hq folder with nothing inside of it as you can see now you're going to do this the folder that you created with the game's installation files open it up click on anything inside here control and a highlight everything right click and then cut go one back and repaste it into the HQ folder it just created for you. Now it just created a brand new Call of Duty HQ folder. And what this is going to do is it's going to also find out if you have any corrupt files for Call of Duty on Steam. Now this is very important, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to go one back and then delete the folder you just created earlier on that's also now empty. Now your game is basically being moved and been put back. Now you close out of this and then you say install, say install, and then it's going to say start download, and then it's going to look like this. Now it's going to say validating instead of downloading. So if I go to my downloads, it's going to validate my game files. Let it do this all the way to finish. Then it's going to get to the end, which is 100%. And then what will happen is this. Your game might download a couple of files that were missing or corrupt. And that was the reason why your game was crashing on Steam, why you're getting black screen errors or DirectX errors. This is the reason why this is happening, because you have corrupt files. Now, something I highly recommend you go ahead and do once this is done and your game is finished for Battle.net and Steam, please go ahead and do this. You're going to come to the search button, type in CMD, and then right click on this, say run as administrator. Say yes to the command prompt. Your screen might go black. Don't worry about that. And then this will pop up like this. You're going to type in SFC spacebar forward slash scan now one word and then press enter like this. And it will do this. It will say beginning system scan. This process might take some time. Now let this finish. Please, ladies and gentlemen, let this finish. What it's going to do is it's going to scan through your entire machine. If you have multiple drives or just one C drive, it will scan through every single file on your computer and find if there is corrupt files. It will automatically fix it for you and your game should run perfectly fine without any crashes and everything should be sweet running perfectly on Battle.net and on Steam. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, smash the motherfucking like button, leave a comment down below, leave some feedback, and leave a super thanks if this actually helped you out. It means a lot to me. It really does. Become a member of my YouTube channel if you would like to. It means a lot if you guys support my YouTube channel. For me to do all of this work takes a lot of time and dedication. It really fucking does. And trust me, you can hear in my voice that I'm also irritated by the game crashing through Steam and Battle.net. Now I found out how to fix it, so I hope this helped you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, just here to help the Call of Duty community as best I can. And as always, I hope this helped you. And as always, peace out.